Hello and welcome to SideJoy. Today we're going to look at how to stop an arterial bleed that would be caused by something like a gunshot wound or a stabbing. When I started this channel I wanted to do hands-on science. I was part of a makerspace and when I went there and I told them that I wanted to do a podcast, one of them was like, could you use a severed limb that has a fake gunshot wound and we could try and show you how to stop it from bleeding using something called True Clot? And I was like, yes. Yes, we could use that for a podcast. So she went home, she got the leg, and she came back, and this is what we filmed like a couple months ago. The company that makes this is called Luna, and you can order all kinds of stuff. And it's like a ballistics gel, so it actually looks and feels just like a human, and it's kind of awesome like that. So you're telling me that there are people out there that can make this kind of stuff for a living? Oh, yeah. Like this could be your job. You could do this. And this is just to simulate a gunshot or a knife wound. There's all kinds of, there's burns, there's uh, abrasions, there's, you know, serious, the entire torso that is made out of ballistics gel that we could use to um, help train. So is there like muscle tissue or something inside the... If you, if I press it open, you can see that it kind of looks like mm -hmm. muscle and it's nice and smooth. You can't feel that, but it looks kind of cool. Um, they try and get it as realistic as possible and as true as possible. Um, right now, we've got our hose connected to it. This is going to um, simulate our artery. Whenever Zach starts pushing on this bottle, you're going to see a lot of blood coming out. This was actually originally developed um, for the military, that kind of thing. Our troops were dying because of hemorrhaging. You know, it was something that came really fast, really hard, and we couldn't control the hemorrhage. Um, so there's something called quick clot, which is a type of gauze that's used. And the gauze here is just to simulate it. It's not actually the quick clot gauze. Um, but you'll see as, as we start squeezing this, if you want to go ahead and pick it up and start squeezing, this would be like, oh no, he's just got shot. It's he's severed. so realistic. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Squeeze harder. I haven't seen, oh gosh. So this is the blood coming out. So if I stick my finger in there, you see how it's going to go places and that kind of thing. So squeeze harder. Put a lot of pressure onto it because your body has a lot of pressure, especially in a leg wound because if you're flowing down, this is just going to start squirting out. So in all, if we were being realistic here, this would look something a little bit more like flow. So this is going to go with this gauze and I'm going to start shoving. And this is what we do. We pack a wound. And what you want to do is to start to see the clots come out. That's a good thing. So Zach, you should be feeling a little bit of resistance right now. Mm -hmm. You feel it? I do. So the more glass that we stick in here, the less flow this becomes, and the more clotting it becomes. So how much water can you put in somebody's <laughs> leg? As much as needed. So if you so he's still squeezing, and I know you can't oh, see. Yeah. yeah, he's squeezing, but we've stuffed <laughs> enough claws in there, and it's clotted enough that we are now blocking that. So it's yeah, not. It is not going anymore. It's not going anywhere. So if we were to pull it out, you can see all of these clots that were created. And this is what's going to happen with a quick clot system. And this is what you want. In an EMS system, whenever you have something like this, clots are good. Because you want it to stop. You don't want somebody to bleed out. And you really don't want to have to apply a tourniquet if you don't have to. So the new technology that's here is kind of cool. But this entire system is a training aid. It's not like you're going to see a gunshot wound on the corner every day. So to have this, to have EMPs that can actually use this, and I can use it again and again. This isn't a one-time use. And the blood that we use is actually one of the only blood simulators that actually clots and coagulates like blood does. A lot of blood um, situations, you'll come across some like Kool-Aid and it's really runny and it doesn't clot like this. If we pull it out. It's like a magic trick. It really is. <laughs> Out it comes. And that's what they would do whenever they got him to the OR. They would start, um, you'd want to leave it packed for as long as possible, and then you would, you would put direct pressure on it if it was an actual wound. You'd want to put some pressure on it, and you'd wrap it up and that kind of thing. Get it to stop bleeding as much as possible. They'd probably go to a trauma center, and then they'd take care of them. But that would only come out whenever they're ready to dissolve off. The only thing that's different here is that if you actually ruptured an artery and not a vein, you're going to get really bright red blood, mm -hmm. and it's going to come in what we call spurts, but it's going to be ridiculous. Like, we could hit Zach with the amount of spurts that's going to come, wow. um, and that's something like... Well, that didn't happen. Yeah, when you when you get an artery, it's something that you have to get nipped. Like, a lot of times you'll see on uh, surgery shows, and MASH does it a couple times, where they actually pull it out, and that's what they clamp, because mm -hmm. um, that's something that you can bleed out really fast. This. This, like I said, is a simulated gauze, so the material that they coat the gauze in is what creates the clots, and it's when it mixes with the blood. When you have something like quick clot, it's actually on it, so it'll do the exact same thing, except for the clots are what's going to create your, your seal. 
So when they pull the gauze out, you'll have your clots, but it's gonna start bleeding too. Um, so it, like I said, it'll go all the way to the OR and until they're absolutely ready to pull it out, it'll stay in there. I'm just not a big fan of flesh wounds, that's all. You totally. can totally, totally. do it. Don't so what you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs>